my name is Anand. Uh, I am here to talk about the uh, micro device under the title Design of Effective Space Micro Web of Provides and Adaptive Applications. And part of my uh, discussion is to give an overview about microwave domain and presenting my own uh, microwave global design in this field. And uh, The list, list of my authors, and this is the presentation layout uh, of my presentation, including the motivation, introduction, current state of art, objectives, and I'm your video is not visible. Can you hear it for a second? Yeah, uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, now it is uh, now it now it is visible. Thank you. Oh, yeah. oh. with other words, but. I would like to uh, give a very brief introduction about the microwave droppers. It is a device that neither transmits or reflects the electromagnetic wave, and uh, it has a very wide variety of applications in civil and military regimes. Uh, while designing a microwave absorber, there are certain constraints that should be kept in mind. That is, it should be lightweight, the minimum periodicity and thickness, along with optimization of the operating bandwidth, and the fabrication should be simple design. Simple and testing in the local industry uh, should be available. Uh, the applications of the microwave absorbers are, uh, for example, EMC and PMI reduction, uh, and dinner radiation pattern measurements. They are used in the electronic systems and devices in order to absorb the spurious uh, electromagnetic radiation, and uh, they are used to um, for our sales reduction of the objects such as aircraft, ships, missiles, etc., etc. Uh, this is the operation of the typical absorber. Uh, the absorptivity of uh, any system is lies between 0 to 1 and it can be simply calculated by um, uh, extracting uh, by uh, subtracting the uh, reflectivity and the transmission coefficient from uh, its maximum value uh, there are different types of the microwave absorbers for example impedance matching resonance matching circuit analog uh, uh, lamp uh, impedance matching, uh, they work on the operation by matching the impedance of the free space with that of the structure. Uh, resonance matching, they are also known as the tuned or quarter wavelength absorbers as they use, uh, they, um, use the strip sheet uh, along with the uh, ground plane PCB supported by electricity and the distance between the PCB and the resistive sheet uh, is lambda by 4 or greater than lambda by 4. So they are also called the quarter wavelength. Uh, the example of the resonance matching is um, service system of drama absorbers. Circuit analog lamp uh, replaces in, in such absorbers, a resistive sheet uh, has been replaced with the symmetric effective spectrum. And uh, they are characterized by the inductance and capacitance. For example, in the figure, you can see that the length of the unit cell um, shows the inductance of the uh, system, while the distance between the two units are described the represents the capacitance of the system. Uh, frequency selective services, these are the 2D uh, periodic area of the conductive elements with a different shape uh, and they are uh, designed on and uh, designed on the electric substrate of any material. Uh, they act as electric meter uh, and they have they exhibit total deflection or uh, transmission for the batteries and the purchase. Uh, there are several FSS shapes to which, which can be seen in the figure. The absorbers based on the FSS uh, are very cheap, they are light in weight, they are easy to fabricate and they are simple to design. For example, in the figure you can see that uh, uh, in order to uh, make the FSS absorber uh, act as a band path system, uh, we need to connect the capacitance and inductance uh, inside it. And if you need to uh, band stop, uh, like to have band stop characteristics, uh, they are connected in series combination uh, and while if we uh, want a lossy band stop characteristic we uh, uh, get resistance in series with inductance and resistance and by adjusting the values of the RFP circuit we can uh, achieve absorbance in our desired frequency band. Current state of art this table uh, shows the current state of art including different uh, uh, techniques uh, along uh, with their drawbacks and their advantages. This is the literature review uh, conclusion in which uh, we can see that lossy FSS uh, have a drawback that they are not widely available. 
locally uh, with the lung resistors there is complex complexity of the fabrication process and absorbers based on the non-phosphatic uh, nhc uh, they are um, uh, difficult to control and handle uh, as they are uh, given the uh, voltage externally uh, there are certain objective and challenges that should be kept in mind while uh, uh, designing and um, designing uh, micro absorbers uh, for example thickness should be minimum with maximum possible absorption uh, they should have 90% absorbability in the desired frequency band uh, they should be the unit cell be of minimum porosity and they have good fractional bandwidth along with absolute bandwidth that is one of the requirements for uh, second of the performance of the microwave absorber while there are certain challenges uh, as decrease in absorption uh, occurs as bandwidth or incidence is increased uh, so more work needs to be uh, done in this uh, uh, study and if the permittivity of the dielectric is increased the bandwidth decreases uh, and with the uh, decrease in height we see uh, uh, in, uh, with decrease in uh, thickness of the absorber we see uh, increase in the bandwidth Uh, absorption bandwidth. Uh, now this is the proposed design. Uh, it is a miniaturized or wide band FSS microwave absorber. Uh, it is a single layer absorber based on the square loop, and uh, the FSS technique I have chosen the FSS technique because it provides good angular stability, low profile, and uh, it has minimum porosity. It gives very wide band of uh, wide band operation, and uh, it is polarization insensitive. And its manufacturability is green. It is designed on rods of R to five double zero volt to operate an XM thirty band. Uh, it has a eight eight point one nine two gigahertz frequency uh, band absorption band. Uh, it can be applied to certain domains where uh, um, uh, absorption is highly desired. Uh, for example, in military regimes for the RCS of particular objects. Uh, simulations are carried out using the CST software. This is the structure design uh, in which uh, we can see that the front FSS with lump uh, resistance on front side and the rotors uh, are beside the fixed substrate by the LCD uh, the value of the lump resistor is chosen to be 300 ohms to parameter steady and optimization the overall thickness of the structure is 3.1 mm and porosity is 4.2 mm these are the uh, parameters geometric parameters of the design which you can see that period and the whole period of the unit cell is 4.2 its structure length of the loop is 2.8 uh, length of the lump cell is 9 that is 3.4 to create its w so the thickness is 3.21 and the resistance r is 300 uh, the equivalent circuit module has also been shown in order to uh, get the um, order to get the concept of micro uh, We can see that series uh, RLC circuit uh, represents the FSS with lump elements, uh, while the transmission line represents the substrate thickness, and the shorted line represents the sound thickness. Uh, and this is the resonant frequency formula for the resonant frequency. Uh, resonance occurs when the frequency passes great frequency. Uh, these are the simulation results carried out using the CST software. Uh, in the figure, we can see. Uh, that uh, the criteria for absorption minus 10 uh, is equal to minimum criteria for absorption and this is has been met. Uh, and we can see that the absorption bandwidth is 8.192 gigahertz, while with the uh, fractional bandwidth of 65.04 uh, with the set of frequency of 4.6 gigahertz. Uh, this is the polarization under normal incidence. Uh, we can see due to the symmetrical uh, geometry of the structure. Uh, the reflection coefficient for co-pole and cross-polarization of plane wave uh, incident along x and y axis are same. Uh, this shows its polarization insensitive behavior. Uh, this is the absorptivity of the uh, of our structure, uh, and we can see that in, in the required frequency band, it is about 90%. And angular performance. Uh, this, these are the figures showing the angular performance in D and C and more. Uh, we can see that this, the absorption of the structure um, structure is stable up to 50 degrees for both C and C and more. Uh, comparison with the related work, this table shows the comparison uh, with the recently done work. 
uh, and we can see that the proposed design is better than the recently done work in terms of compactness, uh, fractional bandwidth, and layer of the chip. Uh, it is lightweight as compared to Wind's model 11, and but it has the greatest fractional bandwidth as compared to all other uh, designs, and its angular operation uh, is better than the Wind's model 30. Parametric analysis has been done in order to see the effect of the different symmetric parameters on the working of the microwave absorber. Uh, now uh, we can see that by decreasing the height of the flux rate from 3.21 millimeters to 1.57 millimeters, the frequency band shifts to higher frequency band ranging from uh, 18.5 18 to uh, 31.5. Uh, these are these are the observability results for uh, substrate height 1.5 mm, and you can see that it is about 90 percent in the required frequency. Yeah. Same angular performance has been shown with the substrate height 1.5 mm, and it is uh, we can see that it is uh, stable up to 50 degrees. Uh, now, this, these results are shown for the different uh, value of soil utility by changing the substrate material. Uh, previously, it was used uh, as obvious for RT type uh, now, substrate is 2.4 degrees with uh, soil utility value 4.2. And we can see that bandwidth has been decreased as the utility value of soil utility increases. This is the parametric analysis has been shown uh, in which we can see that uh, uh, Rogers RD with low dielectric constant performs better than a soil more substrate with high dielectric constant and it uh, provides with greater bandwidth. The decrease in we see that frequency band shifts to higher frequency band, uh, and at higher frequencies, absolute bandwidth increases, but fractional bandwidth decreases, uh, which occurs naturally in microwaves. A contribution of presented research was the comparison of different developments in the domain of microwave absorption techniques uh, and the development of uh, radar absorbing material for stealth technology and excellent scale banks. Uh, and a good trade off has been uh, done uh, between the two because of the bandwidth and the thickness of the uh, microwave absorbing structure. Uh, we can simply conclude that it is a miniaturized single layer absorbent. Better absorption, its total thickness is 0.13 meter north, and its uh, uh, total periodicity is 0.176 meter north in terms of the effect. And absorption bandwidth for the heat and polarization range is between 0.5 to 670 gigahertz for the impact in the element. Its angular is stable up to 50 degrees, and its bandwidth to thickness ratio is 5.5 meter. Uh, future, uh, there are certain future recommendations as has previously discussed that um, with increase in the thickness, uh, the bandwidth is increased and also with uh, increasing the um, oblique angle of incidence, uh, the absorptivity of the structure decreases. So, more work needs to be done in this domain and analysis of the conformal absorbers uh, should also be done. So, this is what we end up into. Um, any questions? Thank you for your presentation. Do you have any questions? Anybody have any questions? Thank you, ma'am, for your wonderful presentation. I don't see any okay. questions. Yeah, thank you.